energy vibration laser for um, the latest sun and the rising sun. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for doing that. Um, thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. And I want to say to each and every person, I want to say thank you so much for all that you have done. Um, please uh, note that um, for the extended reading or the full reading, you can um, use the link below and go to On Demand at my website and you can have all of the full reading for the month of September. Okay, month of September, yes, um, it is the month of the devil and the month of the um, air event. So what is happening is that some of you are going to be having situations with organization. Okay, this is a good month for you because the energy of the devil will help you. The thing about it is that you guys have the energy of the tower, so something is going to be hidden in your life. Okay, so um, always something has to be um, leaving your life so that something better comes in. Okay, so something is going to come to an abrupt end in your life, and it's going to be okay. Um, not to worry about this. Something is just going to become at an abrupt ending in your life. And this is going to be good. You have no need to worry about this. This things need to end so that um, things, new things come in your life, okay? The month of September had four weeks. The, the, the two first weeks is the energy of the hurt. And the two last week is the energy of the, um, of the look. So let's see what is happening for you guys, okay? Um, first week, oh, we have the energy of the five of wands. The energy of the five of wands is conflict. conflicts. It can be in a little conflicts, but it can be conflicts with other people. And I'm seeing a lot of people having um, conflicts with a situation that needs to end. And it's as if some people do not want to let go. It could be a relationship that needs to end. Some people don't want to let go. It could be that your time at your work is over or your career is over. And you really don't want to let go and you know it happens to a lot of people that a lot of people are not ready to let go and the universe some times they have to come in and bring the Tao energy for people to let go of things okay and this is what is basically trans um, transpiring in your lives in this in this first week second week let's look at the second week what we have in the second week okay so this is good for a lot of you a lot of you find sign on getting the nine of swords in the reverse form, which is absolutely good. So, um, what is that? Is that um, the nine of swords is a uh, normal worries? Okay, there was a conflict, and now the conflict is coming to an end, an abrupt ending because the energy of the tower is here. The energy of the tower is here, which is as if the universe come in and said, and it has to do with the Queen of Cups has to do with Queen of Cups. There's some conflicts and um, there was various and that sort of a thing and an abrupt ending is going to come in. The Queen of Cups is here. So um, this is someone over the age of 40. So whoever this person is, whoever this person is, um, there is an abrupt ending with this person, okay? Whatever the situation, whatever that has been happening, whatever that she has been doing, um, there is going to be coming in a bomb ending. So this could um, be a relationship that is coming to an end, the magician. So some of you could have um, been in an organization or a situation with this person. She is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Whatever the situation is or was, um, the energy of the magician is here. Now, um, the magician, um, it can be that this person is working negative energies, but whatever um, that was transpiring and and just come and you're no you know there was a lot of conflicts and you were worrying and the worries is now over it has to do with this queen of cups okay and a magician is here it's as if um your spirit guides came in against this person it's as if this person has been vibrating in um a positive energy vibration or this person has been lying and doing whatever and um now, um, the magician comes in, and this is this is wonderful because the tower is as if a huge 
um, blow up of something and you're finally not worried about the screen anymore. Something happened, something, an explosion of something happened and you're suddenly not worried about the screen anymore, okay? So let's see what is the energy, what does it has to do with five of wands, this complex and all of a sudden no more bodies. The complex and all of a sudden no more bodies. The three of swords. The three of swords. God damn it. Okay. All right. Arrow. Heartbreak. Mm -mm. I don't think it's an heartbreak. I think it's supposed to be the ending of something. I don't think it's a heartbreak. I think it's perfectly fine. The five of swords. The five. The five of wands conflicts and then they all stab you in the back and you know you're not really worried because um this shit is coming down <gasps> okay okay i'm sorry guys but who the hell cares now listen to me people and listen i don't know i have this shit I, yeah metro is out of retrograde yesterday i was doing the rest of the reading oh my god I couldn't stand after two readings. Anyway, I'm seeing a situation here that someone who's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion was trying to get away with something. This woman is a blatant teeth, okay? And she was trying to get away with some shit. But it's as if somebody said, no weapon that fall against me shall prosper. And I don't know, the universe came down and said, to hell with the shit. Now I'm bringing the shit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love you, Liz. And that's exactly what happened. Who the hell care? Get out. You know, so they stab you in the back. Three of Wands, heartbreak. It's a, you know, really? And you're not worried about it. You're thinking, oh, God, I'm so happy. I can get out of this shit once and for all. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the crowning of your month is the world. So guess what? Whatever is going on, Julius, let it go. Let it go because the tower comes in and something much better is going to be happening for you, okay? Because you have the magician at, at, the, 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 uh, at the last of the... Um, you have the magician in the fourth week, okay? So whatever the situation is, a hey, you know, and... You know, this is good. This is good because what is basically happening is that this bitch was lying. She was just basically brutally lying. You know, she was lying. And it's as if something, it's as if she was being watched by someone. It's as if she works in an organization because she's on the side of the organization. She works in an organization and organization had suspected her for doing some bullshit and they have been watching her and she wasn't aware of this she was basically not aware of this because they have been watching her for quite some time and she wasn't aware of this and uh and, you know i you you came in you know um dealing with this shit because i'm 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 having a feeling that it's a cancer person okay because the nine of swords and that shit but you know the center and the crowning is that the tower had to come. Something had to end so that something beautiful and new can come in your life. So listen to me, whoever you are out there and whatever is ended in your life, your work, your relationship, whatever, let it go, let it go, let it go because something much better is going to come in. If you're in a relationship with someone who is a um, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, this person is basically, um, a, you know, oh, they're going to get me pregnant. <laughs> oh. Oh, the page of cups. Isn't this beautiful? The page of cups. Oh, my gosh, the page of cups. So, some of you are going to get someone pregnant. If you 
a bit of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, expect. And if she was doing fertility drugs and that sort of a thing, all of a sudden she's going to be pregnant. A magical baby is going to be coming in. God damn it. It's good. It's basically good. Unexpected baby is going to be coming in. So, this is so good because um, this is so good. This is beautiful reading, actually. I haven't seen something like this in a very long time. There is so many things going on. Now, a new birth, a new baby, a new birth, a new baby, a new child, and the rebirth of a child. It's can the reborn of a child that is going to be coming in. A magical alignment for a child is going to be happening, okay? A very magical alignment for a child is going to be ha Oh my gosh, okay. I'm loving you guys. <sighs> the Ace of Cups. So, in the second week, your worries are going to be over. Whatever hurt that you were feeling from a conflict of letting go of a relationship or a situation in the first week, you have the Ace of Cups coming out. Now, this is one of the most beautiful, beautiful cards in the deck. And not only that, but whoever is coming in you in your life, this could be a baby, but this is someone um, who has gone through a horrible relationship. This is as for it was hard for you to let go of this relationship and what is happening now is that the universe is breaking down and you know and then they're bringing quickly someone new in and this person is going to be so beautiful so honest so open so beautiful so this is wonderful because somebody stopped stabbed you in your back and you were heartbroken and you let go of the worries, you know, you have conflicts, you have inner conflicts dealing with it. It doesn't have to be that. It can be other situation, but they stab you in the back. Oh my God. Look, look at this woman and man really stabbing you. God, you know, and there's this woman and man that is really stabbing you. And, and you know, whatever they do, you know, the shit happens that the universe and, you know, sometimes um, I always tell people, you know, God is really crap. Or, you know, he's really funny because he will let people hurt you and hurt him. You see, whenever he's ready to deal with that person, because here it is, there were two people that was planning against you and the rest of it. And the universe just, you know, and ooh, they stabbed you in the back three of swords the two of them with the swords and it was not in the back it was in the, in the stomach okay that's why I love these cards it's in the stomach they just stab you in the stomach it wasn't in the back they stab you so some of you could be dealing with friends or people who you're connected to and they're going to stab you in the back but guess what love is going to come out because some um, organization or that sort of a thing because they're on the side of the devil and someone in her organization oh they messed you up but guess what it is coming to an end it is coming to an end because the tower is here and it's coming to an end and what is happening it came to an end and uh, there is new love that is coming in the knight of cups some of you could be meeting someone who is uh, um a Taurus or a Capricorn, this person is between the ages of uh, 25 to 45. Some of you could be having um, a kid with this person. This is a new love that is coming in for someone. Now, this person who is coming in for you was sent by the universe because I'm seeing that this person just realized the truth of the situation and what exactly had transpired. This person has just realized the truth of the situation and what has expired. So I want to say to um, you guys that a new birth is going to be happening in your life, a new baby. A new birth is going to be happening because as you realize the world is central in your region, 
And in the future, because you're coming out of August with conflicts and all of a sudden you're not worried anymore. They stabbed you in the back. But guess what? A huge cut of love from the universe came because, you know, you stood up to something. And this is why they stabbed you in the back. You stood up for something. You stood up for um, um, equality and justice and you know, they messed with you and it's okay because the Page of Cups is here. And what the Page of Cups is saying is that someone um, who is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn is going to be, um, you know, stretching out the hands to you and saying, you know, I'm, you know, I'm so sorry. I didn't do this, but I'm so sorry. Nine of Wands, you're spiritually protected. So someone who is... Um, between the ages of 25 and 40 is going to come in and said, um, I'm sorry, um, you know, um, it's, it's, it's really um, love. It's as if the universe is just going to sense. Mm -hmm.